classic Doctor Who companion Ace, played by Sophie Aldred, is best known for her boisterous demeanour, her handiness with explosives, and her creative use of baseball bats. She's rarely seen without her iconic bomber jacket, which has delighted fans and cosplayers since it first appeared on screen. Ace is my favourite Doctor Who companion, and a few years ago I started the process of collecting all of the badges and pins to make my own jacket. There are more than 50 patches and badges featured on Ace's jacket throughout her time in Doctor Who. Not all of the badges are featured in every episode, and there are many changes to the jacket throughout her time on screen. That's why I thought it might be helpful to create this video guide. In this video, I'll talk through each and every one of Ace's pins, buttons and patches from Dragonfire all the way up to the power of the Doctor. Where possible, I'll also talk about the history and meaning of the patches and badges and where you can find them to complete your own jacket. And I think it's worth mentioning that you don't have to have the exact pins and buttons to make a good cosplay. The great thing about this jacket is it's customisable and you can make it your own. However, if you're looking to create a screen accurate jacket, then hopefully this video will be useful. Loads of research has gone into this video and there are two people I need to thank before we start. Dom Green has created some fantastic guides for each of the patches and jackets. He's also supplied some of the high res scans seen in this video, which saved me a lot of time. He also creates and sells replicas of some of the badges, so do reach out to him if you want to get hold of some. And finally, I want to thank Lee Binding for some of the high-res images of Ace featured in this video. Before we get into it, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you've started the process of making your own jacket and how it's going. This embroidered patch is a replica of the one used by the flight crews of NASA's approach and landing test program for the Space Shuttle in 1977. Two variants of this patch are seen on Ace's jacket. Version 1 can be seen in Dragonfire, Remembrance of the Daleks, The Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, in the Earth scenes of Survival, and The Power of the Doctor. Version 2 has a different font and is slightly off-white in colour. This version can be seen in Remembrance of the Daleks, Battlefield, The Curse of Fenric, in the off-world scenes of Survival, and Dimensions in Time. It's likely that they had several jackets for filming and version 2 could be a copy created by the art department, however, this is unverified. Replicas of this patch can be purchased on eBay, Amazon and Etsy. This patch shows a magnifying glass and an eye inside a horseshoe with the letters BSI on it, which stands for Baker Street Irregulars. This was confirmed in a tweet by Sophie Aldred herself. Two variants of this patch can be seen on Ace's jacket. Version 1 can be seen in Dragonfire, Remembrance of the Daleks, The Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, Survival in the Earth scenes, and Power of the Doctor. Version 2 has much more yellow in the design, and can be seen in Remembrance of the Daleks, in the studio scenes in parts 3 and 4, Battlefield, The Curse of Fenric, Survival in the Offworld scenes, and Dimensions in Time. Replicas of this patch can be purchased on Etsy, or you can purchase these printed fabric sheets from Spoonflower, which is what I used when I started out making my own jacket. I found a few companies called Ace Roofing Co. One is registered in the UK and was founded in the early 80s. This could be a name patch owned by a worker called Lee, but this is just my own theory. There are three versions of this patch seen on Ace's jacket. Version 1 can be seen in Dragonfire, Remembrance of the Daleks, The Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis and The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. Version 2 can be seen in Remembrance of the Daleks, Battlefield, Survival in the off-world scenes and Dimensions in Time. This version is quite scrappy and uses a grey font. It could be that the original was lost and the art department had to recreate it quickly for continuity. Finally, version 3 can be seen in The Curse of Fenric, Survival, in the Earth scenes, and The Power of the Doctor. This patch also uses a grey font. Replicas of this patch can be purchased on Etsy, and they can also be found on the printed fabric sheets from Spoonflower. This embroidered patch is from NASA's 24th Space Shuttle mission. This patch can be seen in Dragonfire, Remembrance of the Daleks, The Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, Battlefield, and The Curse of Fenric. The original version has the surnames of all seven crew members. However, the patch Ace wears shows the names of just five crew members. Replicas of this patch can be purchased on eBay, Amazon, and Etsy. Although it's a bit harder to get one without the bottom two names. This patch is from NASA's 23rd Space Shuttle mission and replaces the Columbia patch in Survival, Dimensions in Time and The Power of the Doctor. As with the previous patch, the bottom two names are missing. Replicas of this patch can be purchased on eBay, Amazon and Etsy, although once again it's a bit harder to find the one without the bottom two names, but not impossible. 
This embroidered patch is from NASA's 25th Space Shuttle mission and is always present on Ace's jacket. The bottom two names are also missing from this patch. Both versions of this patch, with and without the bottom two names, can be purchased on eBay, Amazon and Etsy. BSA were the Birmingham Small Arms Company Limited, who manufactured all kinds of things including firearms, motorcycles and machine tools. Ace's embroidered patch, which she wears on her left arm, shows the BSA logo in a silvery white. This patch can be seen in Battlefield, The Curse of Fenric, Survival, Dimensions in Time and The Power of the Doctor. The patch with the silver writing is a bit harder to find, so if you have trouble finding one, I would recommend the patch with the yellow writing, as it's a bit more common. This patch shows the year 1987 and is always present on Ace's jacket. I don't have much insight into this patch, although it is the year Dragonfire aired, which is Ace's first appearance. Replicas of this patch can be found on Etsy and they can also be found on the printed fabric sheets from Spoonflower. Also on Ace's left arm is a white and blue patch that says Bell Atlantic Safe Driver Award on it, which is always present on the jacket. Bell Atlantic is a real-world telephone company, now known as Verizon. This patch might have been given to engineers working for the company after passing a driving test, but this is just my own theory and is unverified. Replicas of this patch can be found on Etsy and they can also be found on the printed fabric sheets from Spoonflower. This patch in the shape of a football can be seen in Dragonfire, Remembrance of the Daleks, The Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy and The Curse of Fenric. This patch is fastened to the jacket with multiple safety pins. If you want to get hold of one just like this, it's very easy to find similar looking patches on eBay and Amazon. The US Paratrooper embroidered patch replaces the football patch in Battlefield, Survival, Dimensions in Time and The Power of the Doctor. The symbol in the centre shows an open parachute with wings. It's essentially a military badge of the United States Armed Forces. Replicas of this patch can easily be found on eBay and Amazon. Ace's jacket has an embroidered patch of a Soviet red star with a sickle and hammer inside. This patch is always present on the jacket, however the patch that appears in Dragonfire has a slightly larger hammer and sickle than the one that appears in other stories. You can find similar looking patches on eBay and Amazon. This design appears on the back of the jacket in every episode. I sent off the design to a company who embroidered it onto my jacket, or you could try and have a go at making one of these yourself out of felt. Starting at the top of Ace's right sleeve, there is a pin of a Soviet red star with a sickle and hammer inside. This pin is always present on the jacket. You can find similar pins on eBay and Amazon. A silver whistle held onto the jacket with a safety pin can be seen on the right of the Soviet star pin in Dragonfire, Remembrance of the Daleks and The Power of the Doctor. There isn't anything unique about the design, so it's pretty easy to find these online. A black shield shaped pin showing an airborne banner and a bald eagle can be seen on Ace's right sleeve in Dragonfire. The design is the shoulder sleeve insignia of the 101st Airborne Division of the United States Army, also known as the Screaming Eagles. It's sometimes possible to find authentic versions of these pins on eBay and Etsy. Below the airborne pin on Ace's right sleeve in Dragonfire, is a pin showing the logo of the Central Intelligence Agency, aka the CIA. There are sometimes authentic versions of this pin on eBay, but they're pretty hard to find, so you might have to wait for one to pop up. This Harley Davidson pin replaces the Airborne Eagle pin in Remembrance of the Daleks, The Greater Show in the Galaxy, Battlefield and The Curse of Fenric. I've been able to find a few different colour variations of this pin. I'm not sure which variant she wears, but it definitely has a red font, it is also worn upside down. It's pretty easy to find authentic versions of these pins on eBay and I've been able to find multiple listings. This is the logo of the car company Triumph Cars and it's present in every story apart from Dragonfire. Triumph was a car manufacturer founded in the late 19th century and the logo represents a grill. These grills were commonplace on cars in the early 20th century. This is a bit of a tough one to find online, but they sometimes pop up on eBay. If you have trouble finding it, any kind of pin with a logo on it will do. Or you can try to find the red variant. This pin is essentially a poker hand showing five playing cards with a king of diamonds on top. The pin is always present on the jacket, 
but the placement moves in the power of the Doctor. It's a bit tough to find this exact hand online, but with a bit of perseverance, you should be able to get your hands on one from eBay or Etsy. The British Rail Advanced Passenger Pin replaces the King of Diamonds pin in Survival, Dimensions in Time and The Power of the Doctor. The Advanced Passenger Train was a tilting high-speed train developed by British Rail during the 1970s and early 1980s. These pins are pretty easy to find and they often pop up on eBay. Below the King of Diamonds pin in Dragonfire is a gold US military eagle pin. This is not to be confused with the Harley Davidson Eagle pin, which we'll look at shortly. A shield can be seen representing the US flag. This pin looks much like the pins used for the Colonel rank, which usually come in a pair. I've managed to find a pin that's very similar on Etsy, but if you have trouble finding one, a pair of gold Colonel rank pins should work nicely. The Harley Davidson Eagle pin replaces the US military Eagle pin and can be seen in every story Ace's jacket features in after Dragonfire. This pin is really easy to find online and there are multiple listings on eBay and Etsy. Here's a rather interesting pin that appears on the jacket in Dragonfire. Western World was a failed theme park built in 1987 in South Wales. No more than a month after it first opened, the park was shut down after suffering financial issues. I think it's very likely this badge originated from the park. Interestingly, the font on this badge also matches the font seen on the buildings in the park. This pin comes back in survival and dimensions in time, but in a different place on her jacket. So far, I haven't been able to find this one on eBay. As the park only stayed open for a month, it's likely that only a few of these badges were sold, and any extra stock may have been thrown away. Next to the Western World pin in Dragonfire is another Harley Davidson pin. I originally thought this circular pin was a London Transport or London Underground pin, but on closer inspection, I think it's likely it's another Harley pin given how many there are on her jacket. I've been able to find a few listings for this pin on eBay and Etsy. The Western World pin and circular Harley pin is replaced by the Brands Hatch racetrack pin in remembrance of the Daleks. Brands Hatch is a motor racing circuit in Kent in the UK. These pins are pretty easy to find and often pop up on eBay. I've also been able to find similar pins representing other racetracks, which could signify this pin is part of a set. This camel appears in remembrance of the Daleks and the power of the Doctor. According to Doctor Who magazine, it was a gift to Sophie Aldred from her mum. Replicas of this pin can be purchased on Etsy, but any similar looking camel pin will do. This guitar pin appears in Dragonfire and Remembrance of the Daleks. BC Rich is an American guitar brand and the pin depicts one of their double neck guitars. I haven't been able to find a replica of this pin yet. It also seems to be pretty tough to find other similar looking double neck guitar pins in this colour. If you get stuck finding one for your cosplay, a simple guitar pin would do the job, or even one of the Hard Rock Cafe pins. This silver pin depicting the number one can be seen in Remembrance of the Daleks, the Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, Survival, Dimensions in Time and The Power of the Doctor. This pin looks a lot like an epaulette badge and I've been able to find a few listings for similar pins on eBay. You can also find replicas on Etsy. Also featured in Remembrance of the Daleks is a silver button from a fire service uniform. The design shows a helmet with crossed axes. These buttons are pretty easy to find on eBay. The lacrosse pin appears in remembrance of the Daleks. Lacrosse is a team sport played with a lacrosse stick and a lacrosse ball. If you play, or if you're on a team at school, you may have a badge like this one. You can find these badges on eBay, some school uniform websites, and Etsy. Two Blue Peter badges are always present on the jacket. Blue Peter badges are awarded for sending in interesting letters, stories, makes, pictures, poems, good ideas for the programme, and for having appeared on the show. Ace wears the 70s style badges, which are made from plastic, unlike the modern badges, which are made from rubber. Authentic Blue Peter badges can be bought from eBay, but the older ones are a bit more expensive. A Union Jack on a shield with England written at the bottom is always present on the jacket, and you can find these on eBay and Amazon. To the right of the Union Jack shield pin is a waving USA flag. This pin is always present on the jacket, however, from survival onwards, 
it's replaced by a much larger version. You can find similar looking pins on eBay and Amazon. A pirate head badge can be seen on the jacket in Dragonfire, Remembrance of the Daleks, The Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, Battlefield and The Curse of Fenric. In Dragonfire, she has two of these pins, one of them is worn upside down. Screen accurate vintage pins occasionally pop up on eBay and Etsy. The Betty Boot pin appears in Survival, Dimensions in Time and The Power of the Doctor. Betty Boop is an animated cartoon character created in the 1930s. In the 1980s, Betty Boop merchandise flooded the market after the character gained newfound popularity. These vintage pins occasionally pop up on eBay and Etsy. This yellow badge that says I hate work on it appears in Dragonfire. They're sort of rare, but I have found one or two listings. There's also a turquoise version. This one says I hate school. The American football badge replaces the I Hate Work badge in remembrance of the Daleks, The Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis, The Greatest Show in the Galaxy, Battlefield and The Curse of Fenric. As with the other vintage pins, these occasionally pop up on eBay and Etsy. This Charlton Athletic pin appears in Dragonfire, Remembrance of the Daleks, The Happiness Patrol, Battlefield and The Curse of Fenric. In survival, it can be seen in the Earth scenes only and does not feature in the off-world scenes. I haven't been able to find this exact colour scheme, so I've recreated it for this video. There are also two other versions of this pin. The second version that you can see here is from The Power of the Doctor. This one is a bit smaller than the yellow version and has a white border. And this version can be seen briefly in part one of Ghost Light. It's very similar to the version in The Power of the Doctor, but there's a banner below that says Division 1. Ace is a fan of this football club, as mentioned in The Happiness Patrol and Silver Nemesis. Sophie Aldred also supports them, and the yellow version of the badge originally came from her, according to Doctor Who magazine. There are loads of Charlton Athletic pins of various colour schemes on eBay, and any of these would look great on Ace's jacket. There are also listings for the version seen in Ghostlight and The Power of the Doctor. The blue American car pin replaces the Charlton Athletic pin in Survival. It can also be seen in Dimensions in Time and The Power of the Doctor. I can't find this exact pin on eBay, but there are quite a few decent alternatives. This cowboy hat pin features in Dragonfire. The origin is unclear, but the colour scheme and design looks very similar to the Western World pin, so it may be from there. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find this pin online, so I've recreated it for the video. If you find it, let me know in the comments below. The cowboy hat pin is then replaced by the Villiers pin. Villiers Engineering was a manufacturer of motorcycles based in Wolverhampton. And these pins occasionally pop up on eBay and Etsy. The second poker hand shows five playing cards with the Ace of Diamonds on top. This is present in Dragonfire, Remembrance of the Daleks, The Happiness Patrol, Silver Nemesis and The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. In The Power of the Doctor, this pin is replaced by the King of Diamonds pin. It's a bit tough to find this exact hand online, but with a bit of patience and perseverance, you should be able to get your hands on one from eBay, Etsy or somewhere else. In Dragonfire, this pin can be seen to the right of the Ace of Diamonds pin. This one took me ages to identify. At first, I thought it might be a chicken or a bell with some books in it. So I asked Twitter and a couple of people guessed right away. It's actually a pin from the Wild Turkey Whiskey brand. It's possible to find screen accurate versions of this pin and there are multiple listings on eBay and Etsy. The Wild Turkey pin is replaced by the NASA Space Shuttle pin in Remembrance of the Daleks onwards. This pin is really easy to find on eBay and Etsy. There are plenty of replicas and there are also a few vintage pins. To the right of the Wild Turkey pin in Dragonfire is another airborne pin. This one shows a skull wearing a red beret and crossed rifles with the motto Mess with the best, die like the rest. You can find replicas of this pin on eBay and Etsy. This motorcyclist pin replaces the airborne pin in remembrance of the Daleks onwards. The pin has a skull with a flame behind it and the motorcyclist motto, ride to live, live to ride. This pin is pretty easy to find on eBay and Etsy. There are plenty of replicas and there are also a few vintage pins. Flower Child was a circus performer at the Psychic Circus in The Greatest Show in the Galaxy. 
When she tries to escape the circus, she's captured and loses her earring in the sand, which Ace finds later and puts on her jacket. The earring can be seen on Ace's jacket in the preceding serial Silver Nemesis. This story was originally intended to be the second story transmitted in season 25, before The Happiness Patrol and Silver Nemesis, but the order was changed because of the 1988 Olympics. The placement of Flower Child's earring moves slightly in the power of the Doctor. And it's possible to get a fantastic replica of this pin on Etsy. Ace acquires another badge in The Curse of Fenric. When Ace tells Captain Sorin that the Soviet style patch she wears on her jacket is just a cheap copy, he gives her his very own hat pin from his uniform to wear. The badge is still pinned to her jacket in Survival and Dimensions in Time. It's really easy to find replicas of these badges online, and there are lots of listings on eBay and Amazon. This pin of Winnie the Pooh appears on Ace's jacket in Dimensions in Time. It's possible to find screen accurate versions of this pin on eBay and Etsy, but they're pretty rare. Watchmen is an American comic book series that started in 1986. The comedian's badge is one of the most iconic and recognisable images from the comic, with its yellow smiley face and blood splatter. Ace wears the button badge of this symbol on her right sleeve in remembrance of the Daleks and the power of the Doctor. Replicas of this button can be purchased from Dom Green. You can also find button badges just like this on eBay. Rupert Bear is the main character of the Rupert Bear franchise and appears in all forms of media, including books, films and TV shows. Ace wears a button badge from the Rupert Bear Club in remembrance of the Daleks and the power of the Doctor. Replicas of this button can be purchased from Dom Green and you can find vintage Rupert Bear Club badges on eBay. Ace also wears a Thunderbirds button badge in remembrance of the Daleks and the power of the Doctor. Thunderbirds is a British TV show from the 1960s. It's pretty tricky to find this exact button, but Dom Green does an excellent replica of this badge. The Fanderson badge is present in every story apart from the greatest show in the galaxy. Fanderson is a fan club for the work of Jerry Anderson, the producer behind the Thunderbirds. According to Doctor Who magazine, this is one that belonged to Sophie herself. It's very tricky to find this exact button badge online, but Dom Green does an excellent replica of this badge. The Nuclear Power No Thanks badge appears on Ace's left sleeve in remembrance of the Daleks. Also known as the Smiling Sun, this badge is the international symbol of the anti-nuclear movement and was commonplace in the late 1970s and 1980s. Replicas of this button can be purchased from Dom Green. You can sometimes find vintage ones on eBay. This Spider-Man badge also appears on Ace's left sleeve in remembrance of the Daleks. Replicas of this button can be purchased from Dom Green. Sometimes it's possible to find this badge on eBay. And finally, although this is not exactly a badge, this pen appears in Dragonfire on Ace's left sleeve. And you can get these online! So there we have it, that brings us to the end of the video guide. I hope you find it useful and if there's anything I've missed, let me know in the comments below. Just before we go, if you'd like to see some diagrams of the badges in each of the episodes, head over to Dom's Flickr, it's linked in the description below. They're super, super useful, especially when it comes to making your own cosplay. In the meantime, if you've got any questions about any of the badges featured in this video, just send me a message or a comment below and we'll see you soon.